Guys, I am tired of all of these playmakers that's thinking they're hot shit. No one respects the slasher yet. I'm going to give you guys all these reasons why you might want to pick a slasher over a playmaker. Now, I'm going to show you guys all these stats. I'm using a 6'7 playmaker, 6'7 slasher, and I'm going to go just normal weight, normal, normal arms, all that shit. Of course, uh, you can change them and all that. But to me, and to most of you guys, I'm guessing that the stats will lean you towards uh, a playmaker. But these stats, are they are pretty damn similar. The off dribble is pretty much the same. Of course, you have better layups as a slasher. Dry lips, all the layups are better. You're shooting better as a playmaker. But look at this. The mid-range is 78 to 74, so you're not losing much there. The biggest point is you're losing on the open three-pointer, 78 to 58. But guys, trust me when I say this, a 58 is not bad in this game. I have a lockdown defender with the 58, and corner shots, he's greening it. Around the perimeter, I don't want to shoot him much, but if I'm open, if I'm wide open, I gotta, I gotta make them respect it. I'll let it fly. If I time it right, it does go in a good chunk of the time. Post is the same. Speed is pretty much the same. Except all that, the speed stuff is the same. Box out, the slasher edges them out. Rebounding, slasher edges them out. So to me, that's a big thing because you're, you are, uh, you're able to do more things than the playmakers in a, in a way, if you guys know what I'm saying. You're able to help your team out by rebounding. Rebounding is very important in the game. As a 6'7 slasher, my guy can sometimes snag on even glass cleaners if I box out pretty well. Like a shooting center, I can rebound over them pretty damn well even though if they're taller than me, I have high box out, high rebounding. Ball control, so the thing about the ball control is that if you do not have an 86 or whatever, you cannot speed boost. And of course, the slasher does not have fucking uh, 86 ball control unless you are six foot four and you boost it. So if you want to speed boost, you can be six foot four to do so as a slasher. Six foot seven, you can speed boost as a playmaker. But guys, trust me that you do not need a speed boost uh, to get by defenders if you're good with dribbling and all that stuff. You do not need the speed boost. So that's not a huge deal to me, the uh, playmaking. And the slasher can kind of speed boost in a way. It's a little bit different, but obviously it's not as good. Speed with ball, yes. Yes, yes, yes. The playmaker edges them out by a whole lot. But my personal experience, it, it, I can tell the difference, but uh, it's not a huge difference to me because when I do get past the defender and I'm able to get to the rim, I can dunk on everyone. Like, it's a little bit harder to get past the first initial guy, but if I do so, the defense is in trouble. They need to pay attention to me. They need to have their center rotate over a lot. And I run with two shooters a lot of the time, so I can kick it out for uh, for easy jump shots and stuff. And I, don't, I know you guys are gonna say that, well, the slasher can't shoot. The slasher, he can shoot. Please, like, he can shoot. The off the dribble is pretty good. And if you're if you're wide, wide ass open and your three pointers up, you can hit those. Like, they got to respect you on your jump shot. I know it's low. If your teammates have diamond and stuff, you're gonna get boosted. And if you add that plus five boost, there you go. You can shoot better. Get all the badges. Trust me, guys. Slasher, you can shoot if you're open. Not recommended, but they have to respect it uh, some way. Defense, pretty much the same for, for both positions. So, to me, the playmaker might have better stats just because of the mid-range and three-point shooting, but that's not a whole lot to me. I would rather be able to get rebounds and kind of kind of do it all as a slasher in a way. Like when I play, I, I might be getting like like four or six points, four assists, four or five rebounds a game. That's great stats to me. I like to do everything in this game. In every single mode you play in twos, threes, pro AM, you're able to make an impact. Now, if you are playing twos, I do suggest a playmaker over a slasher because a lot of people just like to fucking dance around screens and stuff and shoot middies. Which the slash, I mean, which the playmaker is better at? I'll give them that. Twos, I'm going with the playmaker, but everything else for me, I'm going with the slasher because 
yet again. I think that Slasher is a better playmaker than a playmaker because as soon as you get by that defender, defense has to pay attention to you, rotate, or else you're dunking on them. And if you have shooters on your team, there you go, guys. Easy, easy, easy assist. So stats are one thing to me. Stats are one thing. But the deal breaker to me are these badges. Dimer, ankle breaker, pick and roll maestro, flashy passer, lob city passer for a playmaker. Those are ass. Ankle breaker is severely nerfed. They they might bring it back, and I think they will bring it back, which will it might sway me with the playmaker a little bit. But ankle breaker doesn't do shit right now. Dimer is really good. It's really, really good. I'll give them that. That's their one good badge that they have. Think Hall of Fame, you get plus 15 on your shot. And if you go to Pro AM, that's great, great thing to do for Pro AM for a, a playmaker. But Dimer takes a long ass time to get. Uh, these other batters are easy to get for playmaker. Pick and roll Maestro, to me, doesn't do shit. Flashy Passer, don't need that. Lob City Passer, do not need that. So to me, the only good badge is Dimer. Echo Breaker, pretty sure it's going to get better really, really soon. So I'll give them the benefit of the doubt that 2K is going to fix that. But look at the Slasher badges. Relentless Finisher, Posterizer, Acrobat, Teardropper, One Man Fast Break. To me, every single badge is is worth grinding for in my career. And they're easy to get. Diamond takes, what, 1,000, 1,200 assists? A lot of people don't have the Hall of Fame. These other badges for... Uh, Slash is easy to get. Relentless finisher, you just gotta take a bunch of contact layups, all that stuff. Easy, easy to get. You might get these badges just by playing career, all right? One man fast break is so amazing because you have, I think, the, the third, maybe fourth best rebounding in the game. Sharpshire has a little bit more rebounding, but you have more agility and more strength. So to me, you edge out sharpshooters in rebounding. And then when you get that one man fast break activated, you're just like a bulldozer. You're fast. You're just knocking people out the way. And you're able just to uh, either dish it off to people in the corners, uh, finish it coast to coast for a dunk. That badge is amazing, Hall of Fame. Floaters in this game are pretty damn good. If you're good with the stick, you know how to do layups. Teardropper is very good. That acrobat relentless finisher combination is killer, guys. Like when I got my grand batch activated, I can green almost any layup. Like only time I'm missing a layup pretty much is if I'm getting blocked or it's like super duper heavy contested defense by a lockdown guy. But I green a lot and a lot of layups when I'm on grand batch hot or even on fire, I green a lot of things. Like I've gotten a freaking flagrant foul on me that I've greened before in pro games. It's, it's crazy guys. That posterizer badge, yes you can do without it, but there are times where you need to dunk on someone. Like, it, first of all, it's fun. It is fun dunking on people in this game. That's why I like this position a lot too. This position is very good. It's also fun, guys. It makes for good highlights. Um, like that spark plug and that park badge, you'll get your teammates on fire too a lot faster. It, to me, this position is just amazing, guys. This slasher is great. I've been playing Slasher uh, gameplay in the background the whole time, so you guys see what this Slasher is capable of. Yes, you're not able to speed boost. Yes, you're not able to shoot as well as a playmaker, even though you can still shoot pretty well. But the the fact that you have to be paid attention so much when you're driving, it's going to open up so much room for your teammates. And if they don't rotate, you're dunking the ball. Even if they do rotate that Hall of Fame, Posterizer, Relentless Fisher, Acrobat, all that stuff, when you're coming down the lane, it's very hard to stop, guys. And when you go into Proium, this slasher is, oh, it's so crazy. Everyone has slow ass sharpshooters. You're able to cut behind them, rebound over them. I play shooting guard six foot seven, but I'm, I'm faster than all the six foot four uh, sharpshooters that I play against. And I'm able to close out on them. My defense isn't even that high right now, guys. So I'm able to close out on them pretty well just because I have high agility. I'm only like at 89, 90 overall right now. So I'm getting that better. And guys, all in all, this this slasher position, to me, remember that, guys, it's, it's for me. It's what I think. You guys might disagree. You guys might be playing bear with a playmaker. 
what po I don't know post score whatever you guys want to play with but to me guys the stats are perfect for what I want to do and the badges are the deal breaker these badges on the Hall of Fame I I'm telling you guys it's crazy you can finish so many contact layups and I recommend going as a taller guard because you're able to dunk on people more and finish more layups I'm in a 6'7 max weight he's still pretty damn fast and I it's it's so good guys it is very good with your weight up your speed of ball is not going down much only your speed in general is going down like when you're running but at an 80 speed 81 speed whatever it is boost it 85 86 that's amazing guys not many players in the game have an 86 plus speed and I'm six foot seven so it's 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 great and the combination of being tall with your agility strength and rebounding you're able to snag over over a lot of players in the game even centers guys but leave down below in the comments what position you think is the best I think I found it here with Slasher at least for me guys always remember that it's just for me these are my personal opinions you guys might do better elsewhere but I would love to hear what you guys think. Uh, disagree with me. Call me a fucking dumbass whatever. Agree with me. It's whatever, guys. It's all love. Thank you guys for your support. Please like, comment, subscribe on this video. Till next time, guys. See you later.